What is up YouTube? It is Matty and I have got a treat for you guys and it is sort of an attack strategy I guess um, for clan wars you can use it in um, matchmaking I guess for trophy pushing but I would probably stick to clan wars for it. It's a three star strategy for Town Hall 9 and it's the mass Valk attack so if you guys aren't aware of it you're in for something. If you have seen it before maybe you might pick up to um, a, a tip or two maybe from the raids I'm about to show and how I explain it and that sort of thing um, so yeah I have got a war and it was the, um, a scrim with Kronos versus the Booze Hounds um, with quite a few I mean it's a 50 versus 50 so there was a good selection of raids to go from um, but some good use of Max Valks as well sorry the um, Mass Valk attack um, first thing I'm going to show is this raid to be our background what I want to say um, you can tune the strategy slightly. Um, what most people seem to be doing is taking uh, Clan Castle Valkyries in because they obviously add the extra power um, that they offer um, in terms of damage per second and HP. So the, it's quite a significant one as well. Um, and the beauty of this strategy is that it's quite easy to do. The, the, the biggest challenge you're going to find is killing the clan castle which you pretty much have to do in every three star strategy anyway um, but the biggest challenge is making sure you get your heal spells right valkyries will demolish walls um, and as you can see here they just melt through level 9 walls without a rage spell like they're, at, they're, like they're nothing um, and it, the other thing is they're quite unpredictable like you never know which way they're going to go so right here they're choosing to run outside the base they're actually regrouping which is quite um quite a rarity i guess and are they going to jump back in together is he going to have to funnel them back in to go back in or are they just going to naturally run around the outside until and you can see again they've split off it sort of further emphasizes my point of their unpredictability which they are um so as long as you're not wasteful on your heal spells, and probably a heal spell, I was going to say, about now would have been ideal. He's done it, um, and yeah, absolutely smashed the base. The good thing is, it's pretty much um, ready to go on most base designs. Um, and yeah, I think it relies a bit more on luck than skill, um, unless you really are going, going to town on the planning. But it's almost like just put them down anywhere on the map and let them go. There are a few tips I would like to offer you. So you can see here, perfect example. The guy's got a golem, a king, uh, um, his king and queen, and a few wizards in his composition. So you could just go whole hog and send mass valks in. And that'll work more if there's like a hound in the clan castle. Um, because you don't need to take it down. But you want to sort of treat the golem part of it... Um, and the king, queen, and the wizards as m routes to uh, to kill the enemy clan castle before your Valkyries get a, um, demolished by it. So, for whatever's in that clan castle, let's just say there's a dragon in there with a couple of loons. If you let those loons get on top of the um, Valks, they will kill them pretty damn quick. So, you have to protect them. Um, so, just find a, a simple entry point where you can. Firstly, funnel quite well, so you guide your Valks inside the base. That's going to be the challenge. You can see here, his golem's down, creating a, quite a wide funnel. Um, it is pretty significantly wide, actually. Um, he's going to choose an entry point. In this case, it's Earthquake. Now, that means there's no poison he's got, so hopefully the CC is going to be friendly for him. Um, the golems just to add in that initial bit of tank in to, to allow him through. He has sent the mass valks in. There is a hound that's come out of the CC. And boom, he's got his entry point into pretty much the whole base. Now it's just a case of um, just not being stupid with your heal spells. It, it, it's literally as simple as that. Watch where the Valkyries go. It's difficult when they split off. When, and they 90% of the time they will split off because it's just the, the nature of the beast or the nature of the raid, or the nature of the 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 you know the the troops that Valkyries are, but sometimes you'll make the right deci decisions. Sometimes you'll make the wrong decisions on heal spells. The last two go um, mass Valk attacks I did were successful in three stars. You'll see them on my live series coming up soon, um, but they were successful. 
Um, albeit that one out of three on both of my raids um, of heal spells, I, I even self-admitted was pretty poor. Um, so it's, I'm going to say idiot proof. I mean, it sort of is, but then again, it's, it's can you deal with the clan castle? Um, that will pretty much determine whether you're not you've got a chance of a three star with this strategy. So as long as you can come up with some form of plan to either pull um, the clan castle before you start the raid and deal with it with the, the golem and some heroes, or just poison it, or you know you, you've got to find a way. Um, if you know there's a hand in the CC, then you're pretty much set. To be fair, um, but if you can find a way to deal with the clan castle. All you need to do is then guide your Valks inside the base. So it comes down to deal with the clan castle, know some basic funneling, maybe use a golem, or you could even use Valkyries to be fair to funnel for you, and you can even use Valkyries inst as the in um, instead of the golem's tank. So you can up the army. I mean, we are the last couple of times I took 18 Valkyries with me and three in the CC, taking 21 Valks in, and it just it's still wrecked. Um, and there's a reason I have, I'm not going into huge detail on this video because I don't need to. It's simple. A lot of these raids have shown 17 Valkyries with 3 in the CC. That's 20 Valks. It's, a, it's just a good number to be fair. On this base, um, unfortunately there was a hole in it so it's not the best example. But he's pulled the CC. That's all he needs to do. If he wanted to pull the CC a different way, he could have just used a few hogs to go on to, towards the sweeper. Um, Dealing with the clan castle, and he's dealing with the king actually, and you'll see here, just heroes to deal with that. He's got the golem there as well actually to just take that initial um, brunt. Um, but look at this, because he knows that the funneling is going to guide his Valks both straight into the base, the queen's going to sort of like um, aggro them inside, and here they go. The Valks are in. And now it's just a case of watching. He has brought a couple of hog riders in, which is um, not a bad shout if you want to help take down a couple of defences, weaken them up, or just finish up where your Valkyries miss. Um, and unfortunately, quite a few Valkyries have died um, because of that Tesla farm. When it comes to something like a Tesla farm, which is just a collection of Teslas, they can do massive damage per second. So you've got to... You've got to prepare for that and the queen's going to end up taking it down on this one the valkyries are just running off in all sorts of directions but already the base is nearly done there's there's really nothing much left the queen's gonna she's still alive she's still taking down defenses the king is going to go and help take down the expo in the wizard towers hopefully and make some use out of himself but the, the, here's another example hogs coming in useful here helping take down the expo which is fantastic so my point of view is yes don't be afraid to use some hog riders to help you out particularly if you look at the there's some external or, or you might find that valks just run one side of the base and if that is the case and uh, towards the end of the raid you just need a bit of help there's no issue in carrying and there's a good raid i can show at the end of this video to give to highlight um the use of hog riders in uh, this uh, mass valk strategy but I'd probably consider using a golem cause, and, and, and some wizards because it does help you with the funneling side of things in a, quite an efficient sort of way as well. Um, number 35 from Ass from the uh, the Booze Hound side was another one. Let's have a look. No, it wasn't. Oh, it's 36 maybe. There we go. 17 Valk seems to be a good number um, with the three in the CC. I, I know I've, I've said that recently. Let's have another. Let's have a look at this raid and see how it goes. Okay, Golem in. Wizards down to funnel. Did miss um, or didn't expect that arch tower to reach that wizard, but he's got more wizards down. He's creating a huge funnel here. The Golem's getting hammered by the queen. Um, some wasted wall breakers there as well. So n not not perfect at all, but it's in. The Valkyries has used a couple for funneling, and he hasn't um, sort of pulled the CC and uh, and dealt with that to begin with, or gone in a route that pulls the CC initially. He's dealing with the CC on the fly. Risky, yes. A fit, will it still work? Yes, it will, because uh, Valkyries are ridiculous. Quite a few did die there though, and I don't think that would have helped him out. So, if you can find these are anti three star bases. 
a lot of the internet bases you'll find, even anti three star bases you'll find. See, it's not you know getting to a clan castle. There's normally a a, a relatively easy route to do it somewhere, some way, um, just by going in the layer with a golem and some heroes. So if you can, I know these raids haven't really shown a great example of it. To find a way to use the golem and um, the um, the golem and the heroes to deal with the clan castle troops and then send your valkyries in and obviously do the the normal funneling as well um you'll fi you might find it a bit easier these raids i mean again the reason i've used them and the reason i've shown them is because a it was content that was um just created from the, from just natural the war itself or, you know um these guys chose to do these sorts of attacks because it is a massively powerful strategy but because then they're, they're not perfect they're not they're, they are a little bit messy they're a little bit clunky and that's what I wanted to show you because when you get it right you can just absolutely demolish a base and it's it's r pretty simple as well um, you can see on quite a few of these raids as well the heroes have survived to the end of the raid I did want to finish on a specific one hopefully I've remembered it right I think it was 35 uh, just check yeah again 17 valks but seven hog riders on this one four heal spells that he's not even using a jump so again a slightly different deployment style um seven hogs is a, a good amount ish because it it will, it will help take down a few defenses and the reason i thought it was pretty cool you can see he's using valkyries to funnel he's actually using valkyries to sort of funnel in take down a few defenses on the way Get, he has got a golem that's going in to, to, um, to do an initial bit of tanking. He is breaking in that golem and using some, um, some Valkyries there. It's spamming the Valkyries down a little bit soon in my opinion. Because the, again the clan castle troops are going to go in there. Has got some Valkyries and hogs in the clan castle. So it's going <laughs> to... But watch this. In go the Valks. Heal, poison, everything's down now to try and slow down the enemy troops in the clan castle. Um, because the poison's there and they were quite they were infantry they're gonna go down quite quick the Valkyries are gonna be okay and they're gonna help push through the base but the hog riders uh, he's already got a few that are helping take down some point defenses and the reason I wanted to finish on this video um, or oh, sorry on this um, raid is to really sort of highlight and emphasize that you can combine hogs in with this to make it even more potent it depends on the base design and what your your plan is in your head and how you want it to work but a level 11 queen and a level 20 king that's that's not that high and the guy's able to take down pretty much a max town hall 9 um with yeah with four heal spells and just a load of valkyries to be fair with a few few key hog riders in it's just an incredible strategy so i have i haven't I haven't tested it a, a boatload yet i haven't figured out where if if there are any bases that it's definitely not suitable before but i can sure as sure as I'll tell you that I've tried it on some internet bases we've tried it on anti three star bases and it just dominates they valks just melt walls they've got high damage per second the trick and the key to the whole process is heal spells your heal spells need to be good you need to not let the ki the the um the enemy clan castle kill your valkyries and you need to get them inside the base at some point so funneling and killing the clan castle are the two main points you need to take from this video so i hope you guys have enjoyed it hope you guys are going to go and try it out it is an awesome attack strategy and i'll see you on the next one so subscribe to the channel if you haven't already see you peace out